I want to speak to you today about our theme, hollow ground sites of African-American memories. And I want to suggest to you that at this moment, we are standing on holy ground on land in which our blood is mixed with the soil. Frederick Douglass in 1848 said that black people had grown up with this country. We had watered the soil with our tears, nourished it with our blood, and tilled it with our hands. He said, we are born Americans, and we belong to this country. He said, we should not be forced to leave because we built it on our backs. I say to you that Langston Hughes added to that when he wrote, oh, yes, I say it plain. America never was America to me, and yet I swear this oath, America will be. This nation is our holy ground for us. In a year, we recognize the places where we stood our ground, where we organized, where we grew up, where we chose to go forward rather than backwards. We are fighting now for justice in this land where the cries of young brothers and sisters are coming up from the soil. And we have to remember that the fight for justice is a long one. We've been fighting it for so long. 1853, we talked about bending the ark for justice. Dr. King said it in 1965. Many of you remember when they asked him in Selma, Alabama, they said, how long, Dr. King? How long before the crooked will be made straight? And he said, not long, because truth crushed to earth will rise again. And then they said, well, Dr. King, we want to know how long before we get what's coming to us. He said, not long, because no lie can live forever. And then the kids wanted to know, well, Dr. King, sir, Dr. King, what about us? When will it take that moment for us? He said, not long, because the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. 